Hello everybody, my name is Fritz, and in today's video we'll be going over the microscope that you'll be using for your microbiology lab. For those of you who have taken anatomy and physiology already, you may know this microscope as a compound light microscope. But for your microbiology class, this is what we would consider a parfocal microscope. And what a parfocal microscope means is that whenever you have an object in focus with one of these objective lenses, it will always be in focus in all of the other objective lenses. Here you can see that our microscope is color coordinated. The objects in red are going to control your magnification, while the objects in green are going to control your light adjustment. Starting from the top, we have our optical lens. And just below that, we have our adjustment for the optical lens. If for some reason your coarse and fine adjustment cannot fine tune the picture of your slide, you might want to adjust this. And also know that this adjustment here for the optical lens is not on every single microscope. But just check if there is a knurled piece of metal here, and if you can turn it, it's usually the adjustment for the optical lens. And moving down from your optical lens, you are going to have your four objective lenses. A 4X, a 10X, a 40X, as well as a 100X oil immersion. And because this is a microbiology class, the objects are so small that you can probably always start at 10x, but always defer to the instructions from your lab professor. And then once you have your object centered and in focus, you can move it up to the 40x and then into the 100x oil immersion. Moving over to the side here, we have our coarse, the outer circle, as well as our fine adjustment, the inner circle. This is going to allow you to bring the stage up and down. That way you can increase or decrease the magnification of your slide. It's gonna be very important that you only use the course adjustment with the four and 10X. Because if you use the course adjustment with the 40 or 100X, what could happen is you'll bring the slide and slam it into one of these lenses and break the microscope. As somebody who went to community college as well as a state college with not a lot of money, this question was always on my lab practical. So making sure which one of these adjustments to use, depending on which objective lens you're on, is going to be very important. Just below that, we have our stage adjustment. So the coarse and fine adjustment will allow you to control the stage in the vertical axis, while the stage adjustment will allow you to control it in the horizontal axis, allowing you to center your slides. Moving on to our light adjustments. Firstly, in the green here, we have our light adjustment, which is simple enough. And usually this is a knob that allows you to turn on the light as well as control the intensity. There are some microscopes where you have a light switch as well as a knob. The switch simply turns on the light, the knob controls the intensity. The light will then go through the iris at the bottom of the microscope, which is very similar to the iris in your eye, in which it controls the amount of light going through it up into the condenser here. The condenser is usually going to pair with one of the objective lenses. So there is a little lever here that will tell you how far to slide the condenser in order to match up with your corresponding objective lens. So now that we went over the important controls of your microscope, let's go over the steps in which that you will have to find a microorganism using the microscope. Firstly, you will either be asked to prepare a slide or grab a prepared slide from your professor and then place it onto the microscope. Then you will want to find your microorganism at 10X and your lab professor may tell you to start at 4X. Then you will want to center and focus your slide. Then you can proceed to your 40X before repeating step three and then you don't move to oil immersion just yet. Between the 40X and the 100X, there's a gap there. That gap is going to allow you to place oil. And one drop of oil immersion is just enough and you wanna do this on the slide, never on the lens. So one drop of oil immersion in that gap stop between the 40 and 100X, and then you will go to oil immersion or your 100X. It is very important that if you are unable to find your microorganism at 100X, do not go back to 40X because you will get the oil immersion on that lens. Simply go back to your 4X or 10X 
and clean off the slide and start over again. As soon as you've recorded your data here at the 100X, you will then want to put away your slide. Go back to that stop gap between the 40 and 100X and then remove your slide. If this was a slide that you made, you can simply throw it away. You don't need to clean it off. If it's a prepared slide, then you will want to clean it the same way that you will clean the 100X. And that is with a piece of lens paper and lens cleaner. If you don't have any lens cleaner, ask your lab professor if it's okay to use alcohol and then properly store the microscope away. And the proper way to store your microscope is going to be lowering the stage all the way, bringing the objective lens to the lowest magnification, which is the 4X. If you have a light switch here, bring the knob all the way down and then turn it off. Bring the condenser all the way to the 4X. And then if there's a cover, put the cover on and put it away in the cabinet. This was another question that was always on my lab practicals. They wanted to know that we were storing the equipment away because the schools didn't have enough money to just buy microscopes left and right. Now, if you have any additional questions for me, please leave it down in the comment section below. I'm working on making some additional study materials for you guys. So keep an eye out for any links in the description. And if you found this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.